Hey, so we're going to have a little look through the work from yesterday. Uh, this question F that I set in the exam questions is a little challenging. And I uh, sort of understand that now. I've looked at it myself. Uh, first off, and you'll probably all um, shout at me right now, uh, this um, here is wrong. Uh, this should say uh, 87. So we'll just correct that there to say um, 87. And also this one here should also say 87. So to read through the question then, a sample of strontium has a relative atomic mass of 87.7 and consists of three isotopes, 86 SR, 87 SR and 88 SR. In this sample, the ratio of abundances of the isotopes is 86 SR and 88 7 SR is one to one. State why the isotopes of strontium have identical chemical properties. Calculate the percentage abundance of the 88 SR isotope in this sample. Why isotopes of strontium have identical properties is to be written on the line. Okay, so we'll start off with that one. They have identical properties because they have the same number. of electrons easy bit now for the next bit we're going to calculate the abundance of the 88 sr now i'm sure many of you will now want to skip ahead and try that with the new numbers in the question the correct numbers in the question rather than the mistake that i gave you on monday it wasn't my fault it's what i printed off sorry uh, so if we do that what we'll find is that uh, we'll write out as normal we'll write out the 86 SR has got uh, abundance of X and the 87 SR has also got an abundance of X. That's because up here in the question it says these are one to one. But then we'll also write out that the 88 SR has an abundance of 100 minus 2X. Because you think about it, if we've got X and X, they add together to take away from the 100 of the total of percentage abundance. Uh, and that's told to us here in the question, it's a percentage abundance. So we'll divide that all by 100, and that will equal 87.7. So the next step for us to do is to try and rearrange that or to simplify that to have X as the subject. The first thing I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take this 86 X and this 87 X and add them together. And I'm going to remove the brackets from this section here. Okay. And then I'll also take the hundred from down here and I'll multiply it by the 87 X here. So on the next line, I'll end up with uh, 86 X plus 87 X gives me 173 X. And if I take the brackets, I'll do 88 multiplied by 100, which will give me 8,800. And then I'll do 88 multiplied by the minus 2x, which will give me minus 176x. And I will make that equal the 87.7, which I've multiplied by 100 to get 8,770. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to look now at the next bit where I'm going to take the 80, 173x and I'm going to take that with the 176x to end up with uh, 3x and I'm going to, or minus 3x there, and I'm going to take the 88,000 and the 8,700 so 8,800 even, not 88,000, and 700, and I'm going to combine those two together as well. To do that, I'm going to bring the 8,700 over this side, and I'm going to bring the product of these two onto this side. I hope that's relatively straightforward. So what I'll do here, I'll end up with uh, 8,800 minus 8,770 equaling... Um, will now be 3x. Do that and that'll end up with 30 equaling 3x and therefore 10 will equal x. Just scroll down a little bit to get a bit more space. So if we know that the abundance for 88 sr was 100 
minus 2x. Well, we now know the value of 2x, or x is 10, so it'll be 100 minus 2 times 10, which will be 80, and therefore the abundance there is 80 overall. I hope that's cleared up a few things. I guess many of us will have kicked ourselves, or not kicked ourselves, will have been frustrated once we realised the question was uh, wrong, but I'm sure you'll have all been able to work through the calculations. I hope that work through is clear. I'll just pop through and just show you where the marks would have been. So mark one came from calculating this, or sorry, writing out the correct definition here. Mark two came from this expression here. Mark three came from calculating the value of x. And mark four came for getting the right percentage abundance in. Okay, thank you for watching.